Witam was serdecznie. Okej, okay. mi się wydaje, że to będzie ostatni rozdział. Sklep stacjonarny. Okej. Okay. Oni na drzewie? Załatwiła nas. Załatwiła, załatwiła się sprawa. Nie ma pamiętasz. A tam będą te plaki od tej Emy? Co ciuchy? No, no to przepięknie wygląda, chłopie. A tam nie było mm, plaków żadnych? No, nie byłoby problemu. Jestem księżyc. Kurde, ciemno jak w dupie. A przepływać nie umiesz? Ta Emma chyba tutaj. Emma chyba się nazywa. Ona. Przepłynęła. Dokładnie ona. Ona żyje? O tak. Hmm, iPhone, który nie jest zablokowany. No nie, wygląda na martwą.
Ok, co tutaj mamy? Czapka. Aha. Od lory. Tam też coś jest. Płyn do brzegu. O kurde! O! I znowu się zamienia. O kurde. Hmm. Dopiero co się Max wyleczył. Much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. Uh huh. It's been off and on all night. It gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Ale wódce kurde. All right, well, we're good now. W kanu. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. Dobrze, sprawdzimy jeszcze raz wszystko. Dobrze to zrobiłem. Nikt nie może tam wejść. Hmm. Misiek. Żarcie. Spaśćmy jeszcze te drzwi. Ok, zamknięte. Też. Tutaj też. Kurde, nie przestrasz mnie, chłopie złoty. Tu 
Tutaj nie można iść do góry. Okej. Okay. A tu? To jeszcze jest wszystko git. Idziemy. big mean face so what you're like mr h's brother i guess hmm who sin the big dude from earlier when you and ryan went to the radio hut oh, tak. mr h's brother i guess tak, right. to right. bobby struggling they're begging for a dollar aha Chris Hackett prosił zipo o bozowiców o datki na pomoc w renowacji głównego budynku nie od tego są opłaty za udział na co on może wydawać te pieniądze o to chodzi dlatego tutaj dzieciaki też były i potrzebują kasy zarobić Papieżyca! Mamy papieże i papieżyce. No bo już tutaj nic nie ma. sobie obejrzeliśmy hmm. to prace są to wy Wielki przedwojący pełen majestu olejny portret Septimusa Haketa wisi na honorowym miejscu nad kominkiem. Właśnie dwa miesiące i nie zauważyłaś. Szukaj dalej. Przygotuj się na atak. Przygotuj się na atak. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. We're here to lead the way. Fuck meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stratton, shout out loud. We're hackateers. Hmm. Two months and you never learn the words? Hehe. Hmm. Come 
Ruinen. Showtime, motherfuckers. Ja bym obok komina, a nie widziałem tam, żeby... ...zabezpieczyć. O kurde. O kurde. No to macie teraz problem. To jest problem. Czekaj. Dobrze. Belka okno, belka okno, belka okno, belka okno, belka. Gdzie jest ziomuś? Klikam, klikam, klikam! Klikam, klikam! On spudłował. Uciekaj, ukryj się. E, uciekaj. No dokładnie. Gdzie ty byłeś? Idź tam, idź tam, to jest Abby, to jest Abby. Nie. Sorry, pani, ale ty bo ty zginiesz. Sprawdź. Co? Ja szliłem! Hmm. Ale chyba nie trafiłem. O kurde. Znaczy Nika ten ziom atakował. Mhm. Znaczy to jest chyba Nick w ogóle. Szkoda, lubiałem ją. Lubiałem ją. Kila? Hmm. 
No lubiłam ją. Wydarzyły się sześć lat temu. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy, which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit! Hmm. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. Hmm. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. Hmm. Jak mógł się przez ostatnie sześć lat tak ukryć? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of? Oh. Mamy. Że kon ma. Być poń, być kierownicę. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Wait, crap! I got it! I got it! Just get down! Son. Go! Oh. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? Hmm. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Hmm. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. Shit, how did she go? This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Hmm. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Co? Dlaczego? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. Bywa. You ready to end this? Yep. To już nie koniec. Zupę to kurwa. Let's fucking do this. Go team. No, that was it. Damn. 
Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? Mm hmm. I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. Not quite That's yet. That's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Hey, ba. Kim ona była? Kim ona była? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Hmm. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Hmm. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? Mm-hmm. You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. No, you have him. Bob, you collect him. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? Hmm. She just wanted to help him. Travis. Yuck. Musawa Pomuts. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. Hmm. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Hmm. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Not <laughs> lot. Dla tego na niego plecie mogliśmy zabić Kaleba. Hmm, za dumą. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Mhm. <laughs> this, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Hmm. Aj, tak klatka z pierwszego ścinka z pologu. Pologu. To tam był Silas w środku. Trzymajcie się późwa razem. Ale kto to jest w ogóle Ian? Z, z prologu. That must be it. Careful. Hmm. Yes, tam. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Poszedł do tej klatki. Mm. Mm. 
What's wrong? Shell. What are you waiting for? Shell. Shoot your stupid girl. Yeah, yeah, but you still need me. Sure about this? Shoot. Hmm. E Nara. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Hmm. Nie pokazali jak Salis wygląda. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help hmm. you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. Hmm. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, i nowy dzień. Koniec gierki. Wow. Nie wiem, czy było to najlepsze zakończenie. Emma zabił wilkołek Max w domku na drzewie. Tak. Bawi ze spotkanie za morę przez swojego brata. Tak. Ja jest ze sobą przez swojego wilki syna Chrisa. Tak. Zginął zaszalony przez swojego ulubionego pochowańca, bo Zorajn. Mhm. Laura, czyli końcem w twarz po swoim broni bronią. <śmiech> to było dobre. O. To jest Nick. Mhm. Kelly, a to normalne chyba było, to musiało być. On? Jego wykończka została zdjęta. Mhm. Mhm. Kelly był. Jednak uciekła, nic nie było pokazane. Nie został go zaszelić. No. Caleb. I to chyba jest do końca klątwy. Mhm. Uleczony. Ta. Zabila Silesa. To jest Siles. Albino. Mm. Ale skąd on był? W ogóle? Dlaczego on był wilkiem? Nie wilkołakiem? Uh. 
To są pewne luki. Ale to była akurat moja gra. <śmiech> Podobały się. Like the detectives are just they they don't even count the bodies. Mm. They're not like one, two, they're like one, two, three. Yeah, you know what? It's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, Hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. Dobrze. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them hmm. sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, hmm. you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. God, sorry, the tape is just really... Really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. I like you lock your door. Hmm. Of course I lock my door. What are you? What are you hiding? No, what am I hiding? Do you not mówiąc? lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, hmm. remember those missing hikers? You haven't stopped talking about them, so yes. Well, I wanted to keep them fresh in your brain because my sources tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Whoa, Talk. wait, for real? Yes, allegedly. Allegedly, yes. of course. That's uh, that, that is the grace language we have come to know and love. Allegedly, apparently, supposedly. Nothing is ever concrete, is it? These could be anyone's bags. Yes, well, I am a human with free will, and so I choose to believe that these two particular hiking bags belong to our two missing hikers. I, I'm pretty sure you have one of these bags. I've seen you carry it around. 
Ghost hunters are drawn to a certain aesthetic, and I can't help but appreciate... Yes, I do think that these are very fashionable wags. I will say that people can pick you out as a ghost hunter from a mile away. Thank you. Wasn't a compliment. Oh. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm hmm And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Okay. <laughs> Spoko gra. O, mam jeszcze tutaj do wody, ścieżki. Jak to wszystko wyglądało. Tutaj Jacob zginął. Emma tutaj zginęła. To jest domek na drzewie. No, tu nie musiało być. Max tutaj zginął. Szkoda mi Maxa. No, miał zostać na wyspie. No, ale są dwa zakończenia. To, co zrozumiałem. Caitlin. Szkoda, że Caitlin yy, zmarła. Hmm. 15 z 22? Nawet, nawet nie tak źle. Welcome mm. to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to mm. Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, Dale. you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right. Okay. Here we go. Gammy, how long we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire? We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? As the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creep. Dobrze. Ale mi się wydaje, że ja to nie chcę akurat wszystko tam usłać. My przeżyliśmy, mamy dobre zakończenie, Silas już nie żyje.
e, Silas już nie żyje. O, Lara porwała pomóc. Max martwił się sytuacją. I tutaj ponad prawem wszystkie nasze decyzje. Możemy potem tam sobie obejrzeć. No, tutaj nic nie zrobiłem, tylko on przeżył. Ale na tym zakończę. Była spoko gierka. Wy możecie mieć inne zakończenie, bo jest też inne. Ja miałam dobre zakończenie, no i istnieje jeszcze no, złe zakończenie. Na pewno możecie się domyśleć, co to może być. Ale dobra gra, nie za długa, ale świetnie się bawiłem. Na tym zakończę, trzymajcie się i do zobaczenia.